check one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. DJ Beck, one more fade of mic check two, one, two, one, two. All right, what's up, YouTube? Laura Fader back at you again with my man, Great Knowledge. Gonna have another one of those conversations. Say what's up, bro. What's up, people? Knowledge in the building. Yeah. Uh, you know, me and Knowledge, we have uh, conversations, you know, many a time about many different subjects. One of the subjects that, you know, he brought up was the use of the N-word. You know, he's thinking that, you know, even though brothers use it, and maybe we should or we shouldn't, that's one thing, but we got all these other people out here, all these other races and nationalities is using it, man. So go ahead on and break in and tell them your synapses on the N-word situation. So it's just a different age and a different time, a different walk of life, you know. When me and uh, when me and people of my age group came up, other races didn't use the N-word. If they did use the N-word, it was for a situation that wasn't going to be good for anybody. But these days, as I'm, you know, moving through life and hearing different people in conversations, the N word is used like a, what's up, homie? What's up, my friend? What's up, my people? But the problem is, I really don't know how to take it, you know? So when I hear it, I have to take a step back and understand that what's going on now is not my culture, it's not my generation, but it's what's going on around me. All right, well, to get some perspective on it, what generation are we talking about? Eight is baby, nine is baby. When did you grow up as far as really hearing the N word? Cause for me, it was during the nineties when gangster rap started, the Snoop Dogg then was out. That one really got strong for me. What about you? Yeah, I'm from the same age group, my brother. Yep. Cool. All right. So, how does it make you feel when you hear somebody, let's just say a white person, using that word in the way that we use? It? Well, you know. First, I have to look around and see if the fight gonna jump up. Cause back in my time, somebody used that word was about to go down. Like, hey, what's up? You know. But I just give you a scenario. I'm in my workplace, and I have a lot of, I would say, employees that are under me, and they're younger than me, and they have different dialogue and conversation. So, as I'm walking one direction, I see a Caucasian and a Mexican guy, they're in their 20s. And they going back and, word, back and forth with the N word, like, what's up my ninja? Nah, my ninja, I'm chilling. And I'm just throwing up. I don't understand how this is happening. It's just, it, this didn't happen in my day. Nor should it be used in the workplace, in my opinion. You know, I kind of agree with you right there. I, I, uh, let me ask you another question here. Why do you think that is? Why do you think they feel comfortable using the N word? Because we're okay with it. We allowed it to be okay. We use it in our music, and they love our music. So they singing the music, they talking the music, and they use it among themselves. And then even a couple of brothers that their age are okay with it. They, you know, nobody knows who's okay and who's not okay. Everybody's just using it. So it's just music? Well, I'm just using the music as the common denominator with the young people around the job. They're listening to the same music and they're using the N word and they're saying it, saying it to each other like, it's okay. Uh, well, what about rock music? Are they using it in rock music, you think? I wouldn't know, I don't listen to it. So the only type of music you listen to is rap? Well, no, I don't hear it in jazz. I hear it sometimes in R&B when it's tied to rap music. I don't hear it in country music. I don't hear it. So I guess what you're saying is rap music in itself is the reason why multi-nationalities feel that it's cool to use the N-word. I don't know why they feel it's cool. I don't have that answer. I just know they sing the songs too as well and they use the N-word. Well, I got a theory as I often have about the N word itself, why people use it, why I don't think any black people should use it. Because I think when black people use the N word, what happens is what you're talking about. You can't tell a group of people that you can say one thing and then the next group can't say that word. It's not gonna last long. You know, it's just against human nature. 
what you do and I see you do, I want to do. So I think the N word came from slave owners. I think during slavery, they made that word a very hurtful, destructive word that was meant to demean us. And being that we look different from them, it was attached to us by how we look. So for me, for us to use it, it's like a black person owning slaves. What do you think about that theory? I mean, for us to use it, is a, we've been using it since slavery. You know? Um, I get that we take words that are bad, make them cool, make them good, make them a part of what we are in our culture. And a lot of other cultures like the Catholics. But, you know, we just need to figure out what's acceptable and not acceptable. I mean, I can't speak for the young generation. I'm just trying to understand. It bothers me because I have a different opinion. I, I, I'm, I'm in a different time, time frame. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, but when you say we take word, make them cool or whatnot, I gotta, I, I, I don't agree with that. In the simple fact that you don't take that word and make it cool. Let me go deeper into it. When slaves was free and Black people was able to, you know, not be owned by people. Our situation didn't necessarily change, but our status changed, right? So at that point, if I'm a black person and I use that word against another black person, I'm not using that word because it's cool. I'm using that word in the way that the white person would to demean another black person. And I think that's the mistake that we made as people, that we continue to make as people, is that we don't say these words to be cool. It has taken on that meaning over decades and centuries to mean one thing. The meaning has changed a little bit, but the reason why we use it is mostly derogatory. Yes, we might say my ninja, but then we go look at them ninjas over there acting like monkeys. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, we, use, we still use derogatorily. And the reason why I think that black people even use that word is because we want to be like white people. What do you think about that statement? Well, first of all, let me go back to the we make words that are bad sound cool. I'm just referring to like, you know, just the simple word bad. L, L Cool J had a song called I'm Bad. It wasn't that he was a bad person. He was saying I'm the best, I'm the greatest. We take words and we create our own definition and it takes on its own meaning through our culture. The N word, however, was not created by us, but we use it in a, in a very uh, cool way at times. And just as you said, we use it to talk shit about each other in another way. And other cultures, other people are looking and watching, and who knows what they say when they're not around black people. I'm not. I'm not there to to see it. <clears throat> but what I do know these days, they don't have a problem with saying it in front of black people. They don't care. They just use the word how they want to use it. And they'll call themselves my nigga. And they'll turn around and say, fuck that nigga. This is what they do. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, I think that's the problem. I think we should make a distinction between the word bad and the word, the end word. The end word solely refers to us. The N word doesn't refer to Asian people. It doesn't refer to Hispanic people. It solely refers to the word bad is a universal word. When you use bad, it could be anybody and anything. To me, that's what makes the separation of it. That's what makes it so bad for us to use it at all. It's because we created this monster that you're talking about. And what you're talking about is a monster. I don't like it myself. I don't like it when I hear other people use it like that. I don't like it like uh, talk about rap, Fat Joe a while back, Puerto Rican guy. He was using that word. To me, he might as well be a white dude. But he was using that word and he defended himself using that word. And all I'm saying is that if we don't want other people to say the word, I think we should just stop using it. And it would be very easy to stop using it because black people are very articulate, very colorful, very inventive. We, we already have 20,000 words in our vernacular that substitute for that word. 
but we choose to use that word, and I still maintain we use that word because it makes it subconsciously makes us feel powerful in the way that we felt that Massa was when he was calling us that. It's that specific. That word doesn't come from Africa. That word doesn't come from uh, Spain. That was an American made situation that you know that that word was made up and the only person that was used it for a position of power was the white man in order for us to feel some semblance of that power is why we use it against each other because i want to make myself rise above steve so i start calling steve that because it has a negative connotation to it they have a responsibility is what i'm saying so when we hear all these other people saying it because we said it was cool that's kind of the situation of the chickens coming home to roost you know, we created it, now we have to deal with it. So we either go be cool with it all the way, or we're gonna have to stand up and say, hey, I, I don't like when y'all use that. I don't want you to use that. But what do you think about that? What do you think about saying something to these people? Well, I think uh, it's, it's something that needs to be done. You have to speak up and say something. You can't say nothing. Uh, I understand where you come from. You know. The uh, master and power, but unfortunately, some people are so disconnected from that. They don't even uh, identify with their own history, let alone want to understand it, that they don't even realize that's what they're doing. I'm just saying, it's just a level of a bunch of unhealthy young kids who has no knowledge or understand what they're They don't understand the degrading of the world. They just look at it as, it's cool, we cool, and we can call each other that, and who cares if we ain't black? We want to use the word, we'll use it. And you're right, we need to stop using it. We need to make it not okay. So if we want to be the N word, then we'll put a, a slang on the front of it to identify a mature uh, ethnicity. That's it. Ethnicity, but that's close enough. Yeah. Well, I get that, but what I'm saying is I, I find it hard to believe they so far disconnected from that because I still hear brothers running around here today talking about how slavery has affected us and using it as an excuse to do certain things or an excuse as to why we are the way that we are. Personally, I don't believe slavery had, has any effect on me as a black person right now today in America. I don't believe that America is a fundamentally bad place. I don't believe that it's necessarily uh, anti-black, and I do not even believe in white supremacy. And I know you do, and a bunch of people do. I talk uh, to even other people, other ethnicities. Well, when that you disagree, say, but I don't agree with that. When you say you know about racism, um, you don't believe it's affecting America, it doesn't exist. Then you can't apply the N word to it. I didn't say it didn't exist. I said white supremacy don't exist. I don't think that America is inherently a bad place. I never said there wasn't racist or racism. That exists. More than racism, it's prejudice and it's preference. Like white people, some of them prefer to be with just white people. So to me, that's not racism because they don't want you in their neighborhood. That's just a preference. They prefer to be amongst themselves. If that, that we have the same thing as black people, we prefer to be amongst ourselves in certain situations when a white person comes around, we look at them crazy like, what you doing here? Because that's our thing. And that's preference, it's not racism. Racism is when they get together as a group and stop us from doing something as a group. That exists too, such as people hiring and not hiring you because, you know, it's people that will look at your name and if your name is Jarquavia, your little resume go off to the side. That that is racism because you affected a person's, you know, right to and ability to earn a living in the country. But as far as white supremacy, where white people are supreme over black people, and there's this cabal of supreme white people keeping black people down, that doesn't exist. Is what I was saying. So in that context of racism and racist word, yeah, that's a racist word because it's used really to me by white. If a white person uses it. And I used it pretty much to say, you my homie, unless they're that age group that you're talking about. And I guess that's where we come into the meat of the subject is, you don't agree that those young people, they're something like switch sides, they identify now with it instead of using it 
as a power word. It's a cool thing for them to say. Right. It's a, I'm a cool guy. Right. They say this word like the black people say, because we're, we're cool like them. And I have some buddies and they're okay with it and they're black. They let me call them the N-word. And I've seen them do it. And it's just, it's a big learning curve. It's something that I don't know where to start, but we need to change it. We've been going back and forth. We use the N-word, don't use the N-word since I stepped on this earth. You know what I mean? And I, I've been here for a while and, and the word hasn't went away. So how, how do we get past that? Well, I can tell you from personal experience when I hear that happen, I always have a conversation with people and say some of the things that I said to you. Now, they got the choice to totally ignore everything I'm saying, or maybe I can make somebody think, I'm not going to be the one person on earth that get rid of the N-word, but if I don't like hearing it around me, at least they don't know that when you're around me, I really don't appreciate it, but I would like people to know why I don't appreciate it. It's just not, I don't like that word. It's the connotation to it. It's the reason why we're using it. And also, we need to take responsibility as a race of people to do better. And we set the tone on that. Think about it. Nobody wouldn't be saying that word unless we kept it alive. Because white people really could. After the 60s and all that stuff happened, they really couldn't even say it. The people who kept the N-word alive was black people. Now, we got other people, like you said, identifying with it. How about it's cool? And maybe that is cool to them. But the responsibility lies with us. And I believe you, you and my generation should be the people to at least educate them. You're not going to change a whole lot of people, but one or two of these young kids might be listed because they are young. The kids, they're impressionable. Sometimes they don't know why they do certain things. So from a, from a white dude or an old elderly, not elderly, but an older black dude step to me and tell me that you shouldn't be using that word. I'm going to tell you why. Even though they say it's cool, certain situations, it could get him jammed up. You might be in the wrong place at the wrong time and get real comfortable and some people might have a problem with it. So just to step to them and just say, hey, you know, you know, I know y'all do this, but it really ain't cool. And especially in the work environment, you need to be professional. Y'all shouldn't be using the words at all. And you are a leader, so you can do that. It's within your power. Oh, I, I address it, you know. And when I first heard it, I was looking around thinking one of the young brothers about to get ready to fight. And they're like, no, nah, he cool, he cool, we cool with that. Like, that ain't cool. We don't talk like that in the workplace. Right. I mean, I, I will address it, and I will address it in front of or around anyone right. that's standing around me. And I, I'm going to be honest, I have used the word. Sometimes I, when I use it, I get mad at myself. Like, God dang, why yeah. am I using this word? A million words I can use, why I'm using this word, you know? Well, I'm the same way, and I can't be honest to say that. Sometimes we use it between ourselves. We came up in that generation, like I said. The N-word and bitch is two words that it just see they roll off my tongue like butter. I don't know why. We just came up with that. But I do understand the responsibility of that. So I do try to limit that. When I'm at work and I'm talking to people and I want to say, I know I'm going to say my ninja. I know that still ain't professional. But it's better than saying the actual word. And I've even had other people of not my nationality, because I'm in Arkansas, so I don't hear no white people saying that word. But I have heard them when I go my ninja, that they say, well, what does that mean? I tell them, I said, well, that's the end word. They said, well, you can just say the word. I've heard them say that. So it's just that the whole culture seemed like it want to keep that word alive. And if I had my way, I would bury it. There's so many other words that we can use to describe each other, man. I would like to see brother substituted for the word, but what's your thoughts on that? I agree, man. I live in uh, Texas, in the Dallas Metroplex area. Everybody moving here from all over the country. So it's like a melting pot right now. We got the East Coast, got New Jersey in the house, got Cali, got Chicago, Memphis, like Mississippi, Florida. Not to mention international. Yeah, all over, moving here. So it's becoming very diverse, and in my workplace, we got some everybody there. So I I don't like the word. I need to do better with it, but it's a problem. It's a problem because it's degrading to a point to where we've been acceptable to lowering our standards of respecting each other. And that's the problem I have. I mean, we need to be more respectful and, and appreciate life and people and 
and build each other up. And if we allow any and everybody just to tear us down and disrespect us, then how do we earn respect if we don't respect ourselves? It's well said. Uh, you know, stop to stop using that word would be a very good start. I just don't think a whole lot of people understand how that word make a lot of other people feel. I don't think they care. I think like you said uh, earlier, it's the media that keeps that word out there because it ain't just music, it's movies. You know, every time, that's why I don't like these, you know, black movies, nothing about Tyler Perry, nothing. I don't like that stuff because it keep that, that black hood culture alive. A lot of people look at movies and hear music and they try to emulate that. Sometimes it's even subconscious. You know, what's cool that's being pushed to you is what you try to act like. So I think that's a big problem. I don't think we recognize in our media how detrimental it is to our people, to our children. You know, you got a lot of mothers I know. You know, when I was married, uh, I used to see my kid get put in front of the TV. And at the time, it was Ricky Lake on, man. And it was some stuff going down on Ricky Lake. And I used to be like, why is this baby watching Ricky Lake, man? So, you know, I would turn the TV or do something with her or, you know, do something else, man. So that, because I realized that culture has an effect. Yes, it does. I agree. Well, when it looked like we're coming to the end, you know, knowledge is winding down on me. <laughs> I'm getting it. I'm getting it one word ever. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm tired of this right here. So we're gonna go ahead and wind it down. But I do want to say, if you would like to get away from that same culture that you're dealing with, and you want to hear something different, uh, me and my man make one do make music, and the music does have a different message in it. And hopefully, you can rock to it, but at the same time, you can learn something. So please go to www dot norfader dot biz that's my website you can pick up a couple of albums i got over there or you can go to www.djmeg1.com my man got artwork he got beats that you can buy he's got albums up and like i said it's it's, it's music but also it's it's informative it's more for your well-being than it is just to be out there doing some dumb stuff too so if you really want to change the culture get some media out there that's going to make a change in this world i'm not just talking I'm walking it too. So if you want to do that, you can always support. We do have apparel also. You can get uh, t-shirts. I got a couple of them myself, but I'm on the road here at Big D with knowledge, so I don't have anything with me. But you have anything else that you want to say while you while I got you, bro? Peace. Peace. All right, man. And I appreciate that. Peace out. <laughs>